Hey, Adam here. We're gonna replace the blown head gasket here, and you can tell you have a blown head gasket in your engine. No, you can see bubbles in the radiator, you got black exhaust, the car will be real rickety and rocky when you're driving it. It won't run smooth at all. You know, you might see water in the oil and the dipstick and stuff like that. And, no, this isn't my car, it's my stepbrother's, and he's taking the auto mechanic course, so gotta try to fix it for him because he doesn't have the time. So hopefully this will be smooth and it'll help you guys out if you ever try to do this. When you start, be sure to take off the negative terminal to the battery. What you need to do is unscrew the radiator plug, but you might need some pliers because it's on there hard. Alright, first thing we're going to do is take off the valve cover and we're going to disconnect the two manifolds. Let's see now. Okay, what you have to do, you make sure you mark these so you don't get them in the wrong hole. But I mean, they have a pretty good fit in each one of their holes. But what you want to do is mark them right here on the distributor cap. Make sure you mark them. We have 4, 3, 2, 1, or whatever your car is. And just make sure you list it or number them over here to make sure you put them in the right holes. Then you just yank them out. Alright, we're going to take off this ventilation hose here. And uh, you need to unscrew these uh, eight or so bolts to take off the uh, the cap. It's a ten millimeter. Also, unscrew the air intake tube. And after you loosen it up there, just take the air intake tube off. There's nine 12 millimeter nuts on the manifold. Just break all of them and take them off using a wrench or any other tool. You can see. Once you've unscrewed the nine 12 millimeter screws here, you're gonna just remove the exhaust manifold. After you uh, pop off these washers, okay, I already took off these four, but uh, there's four more. So what you need to do, if it's hard to get off, you just cinch in a screwdriver. Make sure it doesn't pop off and get lost. You need to come over here and take off the ground strap, which is a 10 millimeter and the uh, power steering, which is also a 10 mil. Then the valve cover comes off, if you do it right. You're going to remove the four 12 millimeter strut bolts on either side of the strut bar. Then remove the strut. You may need to loosen it. I used a mallet and it'll come right out. By the way, you do not have to take the strut bar off if your engine is not VTEC. Move the power steering bolts. I'm going to show you how to relieve the pressure from the fuel line. But at first you need to take off the, um, the, the, the negative lead to the battery. Then you need to locate your, fu your fuel filter which is right here, and you need to undo this bolt. You open up your your gas thing, and it'll make like a little noise as the pressure is being released. Okay, what you need to do, you need to loosen this, put the rag around it, and when you loosen it, gas will spew out, and that's what you need the rag for. Clamp this down with the with the, any type of pliers, and then you move it up on the hose. Just take the lower hose out. Remove the throttle cable. Here we're going to disconnect the fuel injector cables and remove the five hoses. At first you need a 12 millimeter and you need to take off this bolt right here and there's one hiding right under here. Okay, after uh, these two bolts down here, there's a third one in the back, which is over here. So, it's back here right behind these cables. And um, just lay it off to the side over here. 